But here we are. We're going to Kalos Pokemon League. Yeah, another Kalos start. Route so 10 see. is the music selection. Pretty common so far mm -hmm. to start on Kalos. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's one of the best ones. It's going to be Wizrobe. <laughs> We got it. Wolf and Duckhunt. All right, we got it. Here we are going into the match. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Once again, um, we've seen Raito on these kind of stages sit on the edges, use the platforms as cover, and set up his kind of wall of projectiles. I imagine we'll see similar play style. Yeah, now we did see um, Yuji King try to have a, a bit of more success uh, with his wolf than his other characters coming in. So Wizrobe, a dedicated wolf main, we'll see if he's able to kind of break between all the projectiles, get in there, and make something happen. We saw a lot of, uh, towards the end of the Yuji King set, we saw a lot of this grounded blaster to try and, you know, jam up the works of what Raito's trying to set up. See, it's able to take out the gunman. It's able to stop the the skeet. Play pigeons. Um, if the can is in the air, it'll knock it back, but not on the ground. But hitting the can does um, stop Duck Hunt from interacting with it the same way, if I remember correctly from Smash Four. And that's definitely something we saw in round one because we were like, "Hey, let's see what Zaki and Raito do." Because they played against each other a lot. They should be able to learn something about the matchup. And something we did see in there that we haven't really seen much of is that. Um, Zaki would forward air the can yep. regularly to sort of like misspace it, and like we're, we're seeing not a lot of people attack the can directly. That's, that's got to do be to match up inexperience, mm -hmm. but yeah. But it's just very, very good to um, get it out of Duck Hunt's control or just knock it away completely. Blizzard finds the first stock set up smash. Because it really just jams up. Duck Hunt wants specific setups, and he wants the can to be exactly where he wants it to be. Right. So if you, you introduce new variables in there, it can it can mess up the equation. Yeah, but he, oh, he got the throw combo. Get the up air into the up air. Now he gets to read where Wolf's going to go. Setting it up. Ledge trap situation. Oh, he does blow it up. See, attacking the can is the best way. I, I don't want to say it is absolutely the best way, but it looks like yeah. Zaki was having success with it. We just saw Wizzy have a bit of success, so as long as you know what moves can safely interact with the can. That seems to be your best way of getting in on the Duck Hunt defense. Ooh. Reflector will do it. That is really nice. Wolf's Reflector, he falls pretty quickly compared to Fox. Um, so falling onto the can seems like a viable option. Oh, run up. Gets a stock. Wizard doing very, very well so far. Against a matchup. I mean, we do have setups in the team house. It's possible that they were playing and watching back and forth. Um, so this fair. isn't probably as green as maybe we would think of a, of a run, but definitely better than we've seen against Raito. Raito looks even like he was going to just take this whole thing. I mean, he still got to play Salem, mm -hmm. who is the winningest players at the is the winningest player at the team house. But hey, Wizrobe, he constantly has close sets here. And it seems like he's improving so quickly. We touched on this last week too, but just better and better every time I see this wolf. Coming in. It's interesting that they chose Kalos. We're seeing a lot of Kalos this round, Robin. Like, I mean, it does help that it usually is a counter pick and like with the CFL rule set, yeah, it's, it's a currently starter. a starter. And so we're seeing it a lot more, but you know, both of these characters seem to actually not mind the stage. I don't think there's ever a stage where Wolf is going to be bad. Just do his kit. He oh, yeah. Has everything. He, he has a good assortment of everything he needs. He's a great fundamentals character. The better you are with the character, like the, the better you are going to perform. He's somebody who definitely puts out what you put in. I'll be able to take out the gunman, too. Oh, he stayed so long after he died. Yeah. That's interesting. So he can delay the down B even more by kind of chaining them together. Oh, he's been reflecting with the shine. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Now, Wizard are playing around the projectiles very well. And the more percents he gets, I, I know that he probably wants the back throw because it's basically one of his best kill options, but... Right, so oh, a little no. too low. He inputted. It's basically what you said there. He inputted with the up B. 
after doing it, and that's it. That's <laughs> it. That's the danger of being able to cancel your up E. I know, I play random a lot, so that happens... To, whenever I get Duck Hunt, that happens at least once a game. <laughs> like... FD and... Let's see if we can hear the bands. Town. Alright, banning FD and Town. Stadium. Pokemon Stadium was the pick. Gladio. Alright, going back to Pokemon stages. Taking out FD in town probably because they do have that flat, no platform situation going on. Yep. Probably seems like what the plat what the projectile based setup characters want. Back here at the most popular stage, at least in the US, Pokemon Stadium. Now upon we saw Pokemon Stadium one in CFL they use Pokemon Stadium 2, so that's what we're on right now. But you know, overall this dual platform stage seeming to be the most popular. These ropes starting off strong. Edge guarding here, lots of percent. Yeah, he's been going back and forth, and one of the coolest things that we've been seeing with Wizrobe's for, uh, progression as a wolf main is he's been getting a lot more of these tech chases in and out. As you can see there, the cam blew it up this time, but basically that reaction time's on point and already oh, taking yeah. the first stock. Such strong back here from Wolf. Some more early percent from Wizrobe. Really taking control of the set. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty interesting. Like, Duck Hunt is one of those characters that's really hard to play against. And he's definitely, like, getting matchup experience yeah. against a player like Raito is pretty difficult to do. And already he's just suit proving. Oh! It's almost really got okay, it. Okay, re-grab here, though. All right, he gets it anyway. I would have liked to see him just get back on stage and go for the two-frame. Well, it doesn't even need two-frame because he's re -gap, but... Right, right, just hit him off the ledge. I mean, like, like you were saying, though, he, he just really seems comfortable against Duck Hunt, which is a little strange, you know, strange to, to see. You know, there's nothing... No character like this in Melee or, or 64, right? Yeah, when the, But when he they... knows what to do against the, all the projectiles very well. Right, right. And when, when Smash Fork first came out, he did... Um, he did play a lot. Like, I remember uh, him being uh, double booked in Melee and Smash 4 at Big House 5, for example. And uh, he was known for his Sheik back then, when Sheik was really yeah. good. But, like, that was before Duck Hunt was really a thing. Or Pac Man, or any of these other Well, Pac Man, we had Abadango at the time. A little bit. So, but my point is, like, it, it seems pretty interesting that he's already this well versed with the character when we've been seeing so many people struggle versus Raito in this round robin. And yet, Wizzy, he's, he's about to three stop. Yeah. He's already up a game, looking very strong here in game two. All right, well. That's the start. Right to, for yeah, that's what he I mean, we, we have seen him do some pretty crazy combos and setups. We have seen our fair share of wolf gimps. So, I mean, it's not impossible for Raito to bring it back, but we're looking closer and closer to an early 2 0 lead, set lead, that is. Four Wizard. More tech chases from Wizard. Sent off stage. This is a little scary. Still in a bad spot. Makes it back. Ooh. No tech from right Down smash nerf. Nerf this. <laughs> Just very slightly. Still very strong. Very, very Incredibly strong. strong. All right, we're moving into game three. 2 0 Wizrobe. Same bands, Town and FD. Mm -hmm. Going back to Stadium 2. Same stage. Let's see if Raito can make it work here. There was a little glimmer of hope towards the middle there where Raito started getting strings again. He had Wizard off stage, but he's going to need a little bit more than that here in game three. All right, let's see what we can do. It was actually pretty cool because I remember when uh, Raito was like, he's like, hey, who's coming over to the MVG's house today to play? And I was like, oh, you know, we have Salu and Mitch King here, and then Wizrobe's coming. He's like, Wizrobe! Yeah, he's a big fan of Wizrobe. I'm a fan of Wizrobe. So. It's nice seeing their here in first Ultimate. meeting. Right. I'm so excited. They're all serious, all business now, but definitely having fun earlier before we started today. Right. Raito definitely making some proper adjustments here. 
No, this is the exact opposite of what we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. Covering himself with the can. Nice ledge trap. He got that up tilt. Not enough to take it. Up air, not either, but very, very close. Yeah, there was a sour spot of up air, so I wasn't expecting too much, but almost anything should probably take it now. Can hit. There it is. Exactly a can hit. All right, so we're in exactly the opposite situation from game two. We have Raito with three stocks, low percent, and one stock already down for his rope. So if he can continue to set up and he can continue to break down prevent Wizrobe from getting in, this could work. Yeah, we've seen Wizrobe in the past being able to find openings by jumping in, so Raito's using the platforms a little better now to cover the <coughs> jump in route. Uh, this jump in nair is from Wolf so strong, it's leading to a ton of stuff. Especially this percent, if you miss the tech like that, he did dig at the tech, but even so, down smash. Doesn't matter. Catches both sides. I, lo I love that. Leo calls that down smash the Thanos snap. It just just ends everybody's life. So strong, so good at two framing. Covers both sides. Does he find his way in again? Back in. Yep. This is this is definitely a completely different matchup. We're seeing on the same stage, but. We're, we're seeing almost the exact opposite results. Raito is definitely turning it on. Let's see, a bit more serious. Oh, he's, he's kind of been able to set up his spacing that he wants, mm -hmm. and Wizard hasn't been able to, to get past it yet. And he, there are these moments where he, he finds his way in, right, and feels 30%, 40 uh, But just overall, it seems like Raito has been more in control, but full rage back here. Full still rage. Is this still 150 strong. that he caps on it? I believe so. Yeah, it's not as strong as we all know, but... He's got a ledge trap set up with the can. 167. Pretty much anything will take it. Here we are. Raito does not want to get three out here. He's got to find a way. Getting an early combo there. All right. Eating two cans and multiple up airs. All right. Time for Wizard to follow so up the damage. combo of his own. Very smart wait from Raito there to get up attack. Yeah, he wants to get him off so he can definitely try to set up, but Wizard is really, really good at breaking down his setups here. And this is such a good spot, too, and the can is behind you, and it's going the other way. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot Duckin can do to get it going back towards you. Right. There really isn't, not, especially at the ledge there. He has to hit it in the opposite direction. And that just takes away a tool from Duck Hunt, so... Right, right. Those are the spots you want to be in. Now, there's our bun back foot here. It's crazy how he always seems to shut down that down B, but hey, he's not. thinking. It's a big decision. Battlefield? We played here? No. You have not played there. You played on Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Stadium, and Isimeo on another game. Isimeo. Kalos. Oh, Kalos Pokemon League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only Pokemon stages so far. <laughs> Battlefield is the pick. All right. Game number four, Wizrobe currently leading 2 1. All right, Wizrobe could take another 3 1 victory here. Or Raito could bring it to game five. I mean, you know, every time Wizrobe's on, I feel like it's just a really great match, you know? Yeah, they've been very good sets just overall. It's just like a very solid Smash player, very solid Smash fundamentals, and with a character like Wolf, who just thrives off a, a player who has great Smash th fundamentals, like you're just in for a good set every time you see Wizrobe on the screen. With a smaller stage, uh, as far as width, it might be a little easier for Wizzy to find openings, but also having a, a lot of platforms are a lot of places that Raito can run to when he's on the defensive. 
yeah, it definitely gives him a place to place projectiles. But I mean, we've been saying that, and I, I definitely know it's more of an issue when we have, you know, Salem's Link or Salem's Snake. But it hasn't really hmm. been something that's been benefiting Raito, as you can clearly see here at this first stock. It's an early percent here. Unfortunately, on the platform, so he can't get the dash tag follow up. Yeah, this actually might have been a pretty smart counter pick. It's, it's kind of counterintuitive, but he's been doing it pretty well. That laser blows up the side B, and with the can all the way up there, he can't really get to it, but he is going to take the first stock, yeah. That is a follow-up. Definitely looks like Duck Hunt has to work to get in on Wolf, but when he does, it can be pretty explosive. It's always explosive. I like that. Those traps looking around. Throwing his tilts. Now he's setting up the projectile game. Okay. Oh, that seems oh, it's so okay. high. Yeah, no, he's... Well, because it, it, it reflects the momentum it had, right? So it was coming from the top, so it shot it straight back up. Okay, so can sitting there. Okay. All right, he's actually rolling him out. Oh, every time he gets a, a side B uh, hit confirm, it just makes me so happy. It just looks, it sounds so cool every time Duck Hunt Dog hits one of those. Oh, right, right into the can. can. That's very good placement. Ooh. Right, so. That's, that that was unfortunate. Oh, that was unfortunate. Betrayed. All right. Last stock, last hit. Either Wizrobe's going to take the set 3-1, or Raito's going to bring us to a game five, and we get to see more of this amazing duck hunt. Trade certainly benefited Wizrobe. He was at much higher percent. All right. Well, we got an early almost 50% here on Raito already. He's coming back with a couple can, can does a hits. a lot of damage. Yeah, it does, and it comes out so fast. This is now dead even. Finds an opening. Let's grab. Setting up, shining that down B, making the sheriff shoot himself in the chest. Wishrub's ability to just like, oh, oh he punished it and smash. brought it to a game five. That conditioning, he let Wishrub get hit over and oh. over and over again. <laughs> and he took it over. He knew that if he reflected and he started doing that more to his projectiles, that he had a counterplay for it, and he executed it perfectly, hitting him at the exact percent, at the exact position he needed to take that set or, or that game. We're going to game five. I don't think Wizard was ready for that either. It seemed like maybe he could have survived with better DI, um, but not really a great angle on that forward smash. Yeah. All right. So we do get to see a game five. Back to, oh, back to Battlefield. That's interesting. I think it was fine. Um, it, it, I, like, honestly, as both players have been able to adapt to each other back and forth, it's getting way more interesting of a set. Like, you definitely don't want to see, like, a blowout like we have been seeing earlier. You want to see these close last stock, last hit games. It, it helps the players practice more. It definitely helps... Uh, us understand the matchups a bit better. So not just for us personally, but for the viewers at home. More interactions, more gameplay, especially with these rare characters like Duck Hunt. See Wizzy a little bit more patient in this game. He's waiting to find the opportunity rather than just rushing in. And he hasn't really found too much yet, but also hasn't taken a million percent for running in. Yeah, ah, uh, see, that's what you were talking about earlier, where the cans settled it just it just acts as a wall for the lasers but when it's in the air it can get blown up right in his face it's yep. a very weird balance oh that Ooh. can plays was so good okay. trade of projectiles Keeping i think a away. single blaster hit did as much as the four or five <laughs> from the side <laughs> it's, it's just it's very likely up smash that's what you get really that's wolf it. privilege for you Okay, he's got the ledge trap. Hits him with the up air. All right, Wizrobe's got to get down, and he's got to break this open. Right, so it's kind of set up here. Both at very similar Scary percents. can right there. Yeah. I really like that. So we've seen that a couple times where right, so side B's right into the shield of Wizrobe. Mm -hmm. And the way it sends the, the pigeon, it puts it in a, a very good spot that punishes jumps in afterwards. Oh, oh he still got it. Wow. Right, oh, what a genius.
can. To that's always that's always an interaction I loved because you can't like you don't have a hitbox with his up B, but what you can do is you can throw the can out and then yeah. hold up and then up B, and you can continually mash so it can follow him up. That's so cool. This character has so much depth. It's a shame that you don't get more for the depth, but honestly. <laughs> We don't, we don't need another Olimar-like character, because that's probably what we get if Duck Hunt was any better than he is. Get your shield a little low right now. Right. Be evasive for a bit. As he finds a grab. Tech Chase is so good, but misses oh, it fairly. Right, I mean, like we're still pretty dead even between these two players here in Game 5. Alright, got him off stage. Oh, he, he wow. definitely was looking for a smash attack, but like I've noticed that happen more and more with Wolf's up smash than any of his other smashes. I feel like if he did up smash there, it would have hit. Like if he had waited a little bit and did down smash, that probably had a better chance of hitting. A little strange recovery from right to. You can't activate out of it, so you know you could maybe bait a player with that, but it seemed uh, odd. Up tilt and do it. All right, was he again on last stock? He's been in this situation three times before. Raito might get a reverse 3-0 if he can seal this stock quickly. That's so interesting. Like, just the way the difference in time between each of the last years, like, seems to be, like, a perfect amount to keep the Sheriffs locked in hit stun. Yeah. It's like an infinite combo on them. A lot of percent here. Raito hasn't been able to land a hit in quite a while, and he's already eaten 53%. He's got to find a way to seal this stock up pretty soon. He's got the ledge trap. There it is. Oh, almost. Just barely makes it past him. Okay. Blows up the can and the sheriff. Yep, Wizard Robe's kind of looking like he's going to take this here, unless Raito can do something. Oh, very nice empty hop. Oh, that was that was actually kind of scary. I like how he's he's pressuring that he's gonna go off stage, but then you know keeping his options open, saying just barely misses it. Extending the hurt box of the dash tech. The poor gunman. All right. Ooh, what plays oh, what plays with the God, that's so nice. That's so nice. Last stock. Duck hunt hype. No bias. I mean, like either way. It's just really cool when you get to see a character you don't really get often to see do some really cool stuff. The can is still going to the left, so it's in a fine spot. Yeah, unless he hits it. So patient from both players. Yeah, Raito has to be, you know, he has to... He can't even really afford to take too many more of his own can hits. It's like you were saying before, sometimes he would like to trade and whatnot, but he really can't afford to do that right now. He's going to back or oh, forward through here. Get that can out of there. Yeah, he's getting closer and closer to back throw kill range. He's got to watch out. Can stuck on the platform now. That's not good. And the up smash. Finds an up smash. Take it. Wiz Robe taking it. <coughs> Three, two, over. Raito. And we just have one more round left. That's two matches. Mewtwo King and Zaki. And then Raito Salem will finish this out. And we will get it done. Strong finish from Wiz Robe. Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back.